guys, I'm Erica Thompson and you're watching That's Hot. And what's hot right now is the makeup show in downtown Los Angeles. Hey there, I'm celebrity makeup artist Sam Fine and you're watching me on That's Hot. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. So tell us about what inspired your Sam Fine collection. Wow, so many inspirations. You know, having worked in this industry for over 20 years, having worked with Iman and Vanessa Williams and Monique and Tyra Banks and Naomi Campbell, I mean, honestly, they're a huge inspiration to me and having, you know, ha held their beauty in my hands and addressed their beauty for so many years, it couldn't help but show up in this collection. I mean, when I think of some of the dark lips that I've done on the on the red carpet, when I think of a, the nude lips, um, you know, and wanting, you know, products with great pigment, different, um, uh, uh, you know, formulas and eyeshadows, both shimmering and matte, uh, and of course, an ultimate gloss. I mean, it can't help but show up in the Sam Fine for Fashion Fair collection. Well, I'm so happy that you named all those stars that you've worked with because this is part of the game that we're going to do. Oh, I'm going to, this game is called The Face, and I'm going to name a celebrity that you've worked on, and you're going to tell me what feature stands out on them the most. Okay. So, when you think of Iman, what stands out? Oh gosh, see, it's not a feature. It's each feature because she is the bones. It's the bones. The bones. Okay. It's the bones. Tire banks. Oh, eyes. eyes. Eye space, eye space, eye space. I mean, I used to tweeze those brows so thin. I mean, it was just like from here to here. Queen Latifah. The oh, skin. the skin. I know oh, I hate. You know amazing. what? Who's answering this? You or me? You know, but you got it right. You got the answers right. Oh my God, her skin. It's, I mean, just the skin on her body. <gasps> The skin on her, her, her face, of course, but I mean, you know, her body is so luminous and she just, I mean, come Seriously. on. She is the queen. Vanessa Williams. Duh. The eyes. the eyes. I mean, you know, the eyes, the lips, I mean, the cheeks, uh, you know, she's, she's such a package. Mm -hmm. um, but her eyes, I mean, a smoky eye on her is just heaven. Mary J. Blige. Lips, mm -hmm. you know, Mary's got such a beautiful nose, yeah. you know, and she always we used to joke about it all the time because I think you know kids used to tease her and stuff. She's like a little bird, mm -hmm. a beautiful bird, you know, and, and you know I have to say it in a wonderful way. So beautiful. First Lady Michelle Obama, probably the cheeks, mm -hmm. such a beautiful cheeks, such beautiful cheeks, such a great smile and such a great personality. Oh, thank you so much for participating in that game. So your skin is amazing. Let's talk about that. What is your regimen? Because I feel like not only can women benefit from your secrets, but I feel like men can as well. So hey, what true, do you use? It's true, and nobody speaks to the fellas. They don't. You know, and you know, I have a, I have a really full beard and I just shaved yesterday shaved it down and but before I do that I always do a mask I always do a scrub it loosens the beard and prepares it for being you know shaved regardless whether you're using clippers or you know razors I do a mask a moisturizing mask a lot of travel you really want to hydrate I drink a lot of water I mean that's very important but really um, you know I also moisturize you know I'm a, I'm a man who who likes a regimen mm -hmm. so I get in the shower I, I do my cleanser I do my masks I do my moisturizer and I'm good. I'm out the door. God, that's genius. I'm going to have to do that because your skin is like <laughs> on point. It's ridiculous. So what type of um, looks would you say are do's and don'ts makeup looks? You know, I always say makeup's a personality, so I never get into rules. Mm -hmm. You know, there are women who like to wear six-inch heels and other women who like to wear flats. <laughs> yeah. Who am I to judge? So, you know, I always say just do it well. Whatever your makeup personality is, if you want to wear color, find a color that you love and rock it hard. I mean, you know, that's why I did the color collection because I wanted to make sure that women of color, especially brown-skinned women, had the opportunity to participate in these color trends and not have to feel like, gosh, that blue doesn't work on me because it's meant for my fairer skinned sister yeah. so it really allows you to op the opportunity to participate in the color trends and wear it well and so with your collection are you able to mix products because you know a lot of artists like to mix so do your products mix are you able to like put the blue with the purple or you know a little red with maybe like a new color like you are you do you recommend mixing of course I mean you know and the fun thing is that you know on Instagram and and Twitter there are a lot of people oh my god I want to see you Matthew I fuck I want to see cut oh my god I know he's doing his show later and all I keep talking about is you and I'm not gonna be here later oh my god y'all gotta take a picture of us Ma the Matthew Anderson, oh. the hair and makeup guy for RuPaul and so many other people. <laughs> yeah, just yourself. I tell people, even just you and, and, and Zaldi, like, right. my God. 
So anyway. Why do you think it's like definitely like a resurgence with makeup? Like I feel like it has has literally like taken off like even more. Like what do you think is so popular about makeup? Why is it like almost like a newfound craze, if you will? Well, you know, I'm going to I'm going to say this and it's not going to be like a cool answer <laughs> because, you know, in a recession, the things that sell the most, cosmetics, they make you feel good. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody wants to feel good. They say movies do really well because they escape. And and so I feel like color products make you feel good no matter what you're going through. You know, a new lipstick can change your outlook. <laughs>